Good morning, everybody. So if you're a returning viewer, thanks for coming back. If you're brand new to the channel, my name's Rod. I farm with my family in Southern Ohio. We grow corn, soybeans, wheat, a few pumpkins, a little bit of sweet corn. And we also raise 150 head of beef cattle. And then I'm also a pilot in the Ohio Air National Guard. I have noticed a uh, few new subscribers trickling in over the last couple weeks. So if you're one of those people, thanks for giving me a try. A little bit of an update since my last video. Uh, we had the nice three day weekend there with Columbus Day. So we were able to get uh, about 150 acres of beans off, around 100 acres of corn. We got our wheat sowed and we also got some corn stalks discs, disced in. So overall a pretty productive weekend. It took the whole team, uh, my dad and uncle, Van and I, and then our boys Luke and CJ. So my plan for today's video is I'm going to try to get you guys some farming action and some flying action in the same video. Um, we only got about 40 acres of beans left to go. I think it's going to be overcast today, so we may switch over to corn. Uh, so we'll see what we can do there. And then I signed up for a night flight this evening. So barring any uh, technical issues or major maintenance breakdowns, we'll see if uh, we can get all that on video. Two days later and that plan was an epic fail. Uh, I was supposed to fly two nights ago and we had some bad weather in the area. So as you can probably guess, the 50 year old airplanes, thunderstorms and turbulence don't really go together well so we canceled that flight for weather. And then last night I was supposed to fly, the weather was gorgeous, but the uh, plane broke down in the morning and they worked on it all day and couldn't get it going so last night we had to cancel for maintenance so i'm heading back down to the farm now hopefully we'll get some corn done today So this little grain cart, I know it doesn't look like much, especially compared to some of them thousand bushel jobs. Some of the other YouTubers got, or heck, some of the things look like they'll hold 2,000 bushel. But it's big enough for us. It, uh, it'll hold about 400 bushel, which is a couple dumps out of the combine. And uh, basically just keeps the combine moving until we can get a truck back to empty the cart out. We never even used to have a grain cart until a couple years ago. I was going to buy some piece of crap at a farm auction. And I think my dad kind of got scared and he ended up buying this unit. But it, uh, it's worked out pretty well for us.
gonna start filling our own bins today, but the uh, elevator in town is open today and they're closed tomorrow. And like I said, we only got storage for about 20,000 bushel. Um, if the yields continue to be as good as they have been, uh, we'll only need about 85 acres to fill our bins. So today we're gonna to take everything in town and then probably start hauling to our own bins tomorrow. I'm sitting here in line at the elevator. I probably owe you guys an explanation as to why I labeled this video Harvesting corn on a tropical island So as you can see we are picking corn What you don't know until now is that we call this field the island field And that's because at certain times during the year this field can be completely surrounded by water so the Scioto River borders the field to the west and then uh, a lot of times during the spring when we get a, a heavy rain, the river will flood and actually surround the entire field, which is about 47 acres with water. I'm probably reaching out a little bit on the tropical part. It does get pretty hot here in Southern Ohio. A lot of times during summer, it'll get over 100 degrees. So technically, you have to use your imagination a little bit, but it could be considered a tropical island. Farmers, one thing, it's got its own set of uh, challenges. But when it comes to physical labor, they're just, there ain't much to it. Um, on the other hand, raising cattle, it's an entirely different ball game. Lots more of a uh, physical labor going on, at least for beef cattle. I know dairy cattle, they got a lot of robots doing that stuff now. But. Hopefully, I didn't lose any uh, subscribers by saying that. I didn't mean to make anybody mad, but I think if you talk to anybody that grows crops and raises cattle, I think they'd tell you the same thing. And if I'm still making videos this winter, uh, I'm sure I'll have plenty of footage of the physical labor it does take to, to raise beef cows. So I ain't gonna lie to you, if I had the choice between 500 acres of tillable ground 500 acres of pasture I would choose 500 acres of tillable ground any day of the week twice on Sunday um, but we do have six or seven hundred acres of pasture and uh, raising cattle is about the only way that we're going to get any 
make any use out of that ground. So that's what we do. I'm not playing a bit. I'm extremely fortunate, but there is a lot more work raising cattle. going to wrap up this video uh, I'm going to finish loading this truck <clears throat> the other truck's full combine's full uh, so that'll probably be about it this evening if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button or the like button whatever it's called if you're not subscribed please uh, consider subscribing maybe go check out some other videos uh, but as always thank you for watching and until next time American.